Turning now to that news breaking overnight. North Korea firing their fifth round of missile launches so far this month. Our chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz is tracking the latest. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Michael. Kim Jong-un has been relentless this month. These missiles are suspected cruise missiles, but he has also been test-firing short-range ballistic missiles, and he has hinted that with diplomacy stalled and tough sanctions still in place, he may resume testing of long-range missiles, ICBMs, and nuclear tests, which he has not conducted since 2017. Michael? And, and Martha, those missile launchers, they, they were just tests, but they were missile launchers that added, added um, an air base in the United Arab Emirates that put American service members at risk. They sure did, Michael. This is a very different story and a major escalation. These missiles appear to be aimed squarely at a U.S. base in a major city, UAE's capital, Abu Dhabi. The U.S. and UAE had to launch Patriot missile defenses to intercept those inbound missiles. You see it there. The incoming missiles were launched by rebels in Yemen who were backed by Iran. I been to the base in the UAE. There are some 2,000 military personnel there, fighter jets, U-2 spy planes, and these incoming missiles sent them to bunkers. The Pentagon said it would be foolish to assume there was not a threat to our people, and they're taking that threat very seriously. But thankfully, Michael, no injuries this time. Yeah, thankful that for that, Martha. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.